years ago, Royal Mail brought in new stamps with QR codes for added security. But with many of you telling us about your problems with them, we've been taking a closer look. Loads of you reporting that you've been told your letters were sent with counterfeit stamps, despite the fact that you feel that you bought them from what felt like reputable sources. Christine from South London spent 20 years working in her local post office. So she thought nothing of it when she said she bought eight stamps from the post office based inside her local convenience store back in December. I sent one to my son and he sent us a message later in the month saying thank you. But unfortunately there was the five pound demand on the envelope. Royal Mail charges a five pound fee to anyone who receives and accepts something with a fake stamp on. Another friend of mine's granddaughter, I'd sent her a card and she had the same response. Both of them had to pay five pound because it was two of them. That made me quite indignant. We've also heard from Yvonne, who lives in Staffordshire. In December, she bought 32 new barcoded stamps, also from the post office located inside her local convenience store. But after she used them to send out Christmas cards, Royal Mail identified eight as counterfeit. A lot of people won't pay the five pounds, so they won't get the cards, which makes me angry, really. It's a lot of money. I mean, genuinely, you're getting to that point where you think, well, if you can't trust the post office, where are you going to go to yeah. buy legit stamps? So, what's going on? To find out if some of the stamps bought from legitimate post office sources were in fact fake, we enlisted the help of an expert. Chris Harmon is from the Royal Philatelic Society, and he and his team have got the skills and specialist equipment to spot fake stamps. This is from one of our viewers, Yvonne. We would love you to have a look at these stamps. Chris's team takes a closer look at three of Yvonne's stamps, one of the eight identified as counterfeit, and then two more she's yet to use. We are 100% certain on the stamps that you've got here, and all of them are forgeries. How do you feel about the fact that you were able to buy these at your village shop? I think it's really bad. For anybody that's bought these, it's cost money to send, it's cost money to buy, the contents, the cards. Is there anything that Yvonne could have done, Chris, to spot these and avoid buying them? Unless you have your magnifying glass sitting in your handbag and can look in that amount of detail, then uh, I don't think you'd have had a chance to spot them. We also asked our expert to test this stamp, sent to us by another viewer hit with a penalty for being counterfeit. This time, it is in fact the real deal. All the features are ones you expect in the genuine, the barcode, the design, and the way it reacts under ultraviolet light. This process that the Royal Mail has in place, sometimes it's penalising the recipients um, for perfectly legitimate stamps. Uh, yes. We put this to Royal Mail and it admitted one of the stamps our expert inspected was incorrectly flagged as counterfeit. Royal Mail has apologised and offered to rectify the customer's situation. It says it has a robust, multi-stage process in place when assessing whether barcoded stamps are genuine. The post office says it receives its stamps direct from Royal Mail's secure printers, but admits it could have sold fake stamps in Yvonne's case. It believes the postmaster received these stamps from another customer after swapping them with genuine stamps. It added it's given Yvonne £65 as a gesture of goodwill. The sub-postmaster of the post office that sold her the stamps has refunded her and apologised. Royal Mail, it feels like you may be presiding over another Royal Fail. Genuine stamps that get marked as counterfeits. If you can't tell the difference between them, how are we supposed to? And yet, it's us that's paying the price. Maybe it's time to turn the big magnifying glass on your processes. How about making that a priority? Well, it feels like there are plenty of questions to ask Royal Mail, so I did just that in an exclusive interview with its Director of External Affairs and Policy, David Gold. David, when the Royal Mail can't even spot the difference between a fake stamp and a legitimate one, what chance do we stand as customers? I, I couldn't agree more. And that's why we want to make sure that people have got confidence when they go into a high street store and they buy their stamps that they're buying the genuine article. The reality is counterfeiters are now so good 
at what they do, that even I, and I work for Royal Mail, I can't tell the difference just by looking at them. Some of the things you can look out for are if a stamp has peculiar perforations around the edge, if there's a particular shine to it, if the colour's a bit off. But in reality, Matt, you shouldn't have to do that. We're talking about your systems here. Mm. We're not talking about the customer looking out for themselves. Mm. We're talking about trust in the Royal Mail. Absolutely. And we're talking about the Royal Mail marking legitimate stamps mm. as fakes mm. and then the end recipient paying the mm. price for that. I mean, there is no confidence once that's the case because we don't know what to trust anymore. But I would just say that, you know, in terms of confidence, people should understand that the overwhelming majority of stamps on sale are legitimate. In fact, uh, since we introduced barcoded stamps, which means that every stamp is unique, we've cut the number of counterfeit stamps coming through the network by 90%. And what that means is that the number of stamps that we are spotting account for less than 0.1% of the total stamps going through the network. So the chances of you being uh, in receipt of a counterfeit stamp are incredibly rare. And yes, we do occasionally make mistakes.